Always a great show. Amazing performance. So much energy. They just put everything into it. The zebra who was dancing in front of me, she had a huge smile on her face the entire time while she was dancing and singing. Wow, she just did a great job. They all did a great job. It's just an amazing show. Uh, easy to understand why it's one of the, the highest rated. Susan, thank you for joining me. Paul, hello to you in Rhode Island. Good morning. Hope you're having a good day. Debbie, you are very welcome. Thank you for joining. Vicky said she needed to see a little bit of Disney fun. Glad to bring it to you. Red said, so amazing. Red, thank you for joining. Appreciate that. So I'm going to do a little bit of a wander around the park. I've got a brand new t-shirt to share with you today. Uh, one that actually came from someone who has watched the broadcast in the past. It's kind of a fun design. I'll share it with you in just a minute, and I'll share it again at the end of the show. Happens to be on sale now for your last minute Christmas giving. I guess it's not quite the last minute, but it's getting close. Emma, hello to you. Tomorrow you are very welcome. Thank you for joining me. Festival of the Lion King, great show, so much fun. It's great to see it back in its full form as well uh, with all the acrobats, uh, birds, the monkeys. Uh, just, just an amazing show. Mary, hello to you. Sue is going to Disney Springs. Hope you have a good time. It is a popular place to be for sure. Uh, just this past week, Eat, the new uh, Indian restaurant, has opened. Uh, I actually got a note that there may be an opportunity for me to check that out. So I've uh, heard very, very good things. It's in the former Wolfgang Puck Express location near the Disney Days of Christmas store in the marketplace, not too far from the World of Disney store. Always fun when a, a new restaurant opens up on Disney property. Carol, hello to you. Holly's asking about the temperature. Right now, 72 degrees, actually extremely pleasant right now. Uh, on the way up to 80, it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. Sunny, not too hot, but not too cold. Phil, rainy and nasty in Birmingham. Happy to bring you a little bit of Florida sunshine. Rick's got 30 days to go. Mary, hello to you. We'll take a little walk through Africa, through Asia, over towards Dinoland, USA as we head to the front of the park. Just fun to see what's going on. Sam, hello to you. Michelle, good morning. Debbie says, need to take her three-year-old grandson to see this. He'll love it. It is a fun show. And one of my favorite parts is towards the end when the animal performers uh, grab a few kids from the audience, give them shakers, and let them uh, sort of dance around a little bit, march around the theater. They love it. And just seeing how much they are enjoying it uh, brings, I think, me and a lot of folks just uh, a lot of happiness. It's a, a fun thing to see when kids are having a good time. Okay, I'm going to take a second to share with you brand new shirt design. Um, Actually, courtesy of Mr. Wright, someone who watches the broadcast, he came up with this idea, and I think it's pretty clever. So you may know the famous line in the Jungle Cruise, which is at the Magic Kingdom, the backside of water. This one kind of plays off it. It's a first ever World of Waltz uh, shirt that's a double-sided shirt. There's a different design on the front and on the back, and it kind of plays on the idea of the backside of water and a little bit of a tribute to Walt Disney as well. So here is the new design. I wonder if that's showing up so hard for me to see the broadcast. Okay, so brand new design on the front of the shirt. You are seeing that. It's got a illustration that looks something like a person who could be Walt Disney. And it says the front side of Walter. And on the back side of the shirt, a different design. And it says the back side of Walter. I think it's very clever. And thank you, Mr. Wright, for sharing, with the, uh, sharing this idea with me. It took a while to bring this design to uh, uh, true fruition, but I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, the front side of Walter and the back side of Walter. Uh, on sale now over at the t-shirt shop. And you might ask Herb, where can I get this shirt? And I can answer that question. You can head over to rollerwaltstore.com. That will give you a link to the t-shirt shop. It is on sale now, as are all the designs, uh, just in time for your holiday purchases. You can uh, check out this design and all the others over at rollerwaltstore.com. Susan says, night shirt. Michelle says, cute and clever. I thought it was kind of clever, too. I can't take uh, credit for it, but 
It's kind of fun. So yeah, on the front, it's got the front side of Walter. On the back, it's got the back side of Walter. Ed says, awesome shirt. Elmer says, awesome, loves it. Thank you so much, appreciate that. Nicholas, hello to you. Tracy says, loves the shirt idea. Looks like the statue. Uh, that may have been an inspiration for the design of this person who could be someone that looks somewhat like Walt Disney. Not saying that is. John, thank you so much for putting the, uh, the uh, link in there, worldofwaltstore.com. Dolores likes the design. Thank you so much. I'll go ahead and share this again before the end of the show. I uh, also will put um, a link in the newsletter that comes out on Monday. So uh, if you haven't signed up for the newsletter, you can head over to worldofwalt.com and on the homepage, sign up. And every Monday, do a great recap of all the news from the past week. Um, there's always a lot of news and Facebook and other sources don't always show all of it to you, so um, you might want to make sure that you get the newsletter. Tracy, hello to you. Peggy says, kind of cool, considering the statue was just dedicated. I'd like to say that was uh, great timing, but it was more that just everything took a while to make it happen. But uh, Yes, you're right that this week was a big week in Epcot history, uh, Disney history generally, so December 5th, Tuesday. Um, December 5th is Walt Disney's birthday, and December 5th was also the opening of most of World Celebration, the new spine of Epcot. Uh, some will call it the World Celebration Garden, so the center section behind Spaceship Earth before you get to World Showcase. Um, a nice area. It looks beautiful at night with all the colors. Everything is illuminated. There are lights on the trees. There are lights on the floor. There are lights everywhere. Kind of coordinate with Spaceship Earth itself as well as the music that they're playing. Okay. Uh, and it's, it's kind of interesting right, that there are a lot of spots just to kind of hang out, uh, sit down, tables, uh, and I suspect some of that is going to be used in Epcot's many, many, many festivals. Um, instead of all of the festival activity taking place around World Showcase and the show kitchens back there, people eating off trash cans, um, I think you'll have an opportunity to sit down and enjoy the gardens. And I, I suspect, I project that there will be a lot of opportunities to enjoy festival activities in the front of the park now instead of primarily just in the back. So, uh, interesting week. I was glad I had a chance to see the new uh, World Celebration section of Epcot. Almost all the construction walls are down, not quite. Still construction walls up on uh, Communicore Hall and Communicore Plaza, which uh, will hold the new Mickey meet and greet, uh, as well as some flex space and festival space. Uh, so those buildings are still very much under construction. They've got a ways to go. But everything else as part of the, I think, seven or eight year transformation of Epcot, has it been that long, uh, is pretty much done. And that transformation included a lot of stuff. Remy's Ratatouille Adventure and Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, the World Celebration section. So a lot of stuff happened at Epcot. Tara, good morning to you. John, hello. Jody's going to be at Animal Kingdom on Wednesday. Hope you have a great visit. Emily says, hooray for no more Walcott. Yes, uh, some people called it Walcott. Um, and it, that's kind of what it was. John said, thoughts on Luminous. So uh, that was another big thing that happened this past Tuesday. So I did have an opportunity to see the first presentation of Luminous, the Symphony of Us, which is the new nighttime spectacular that takes place on the World Showcase Lagoon at Epcot. Uh, this uh, Tuesday, it was, I think, 9.30 p.m., a little chilly <laughs> to be standing out. Um, to be honest, I enjoyed the show. You know, it, was it groundbreaking? Um, did it pull at my, tug at my heartstrings like some shows do? Not as much, but it was a very solid show. I think they did a good job. I think there were a lot of great elements to it. Um, the musical score was good. A very neat new firework effect where... The barges in the center shoot out fireworks that look like hearts, which is a very cool. Um, and the show is designed so that the barges in the center get towed in each night so as not to obstruct the beautiful view across World Showcase Lagoon, uh, unlike Harmonious where the big barges were kind of parked all day long. Um, no projections or video as part of this show. It's all waters and lights and fireworks. Uh, but they did a great job of using the perimeter fireworks that uh, were a big part of Illuminations. Um, the torches are still there. And, and a much um, a much improved storyline, I would say, which is kind of like the story of, of the arc of a lifetime. So you're born, you find love, you have loss, uh, and, and you are with others. So 
a, a kind of a kind of a very touching, a very relatable story uh, for Luminous, the Symphony of Us. Uh, I would definitely suggest checking out. Um, in my opinion, it is um, a, an improvement over the past couple shows that that Disney has presented at Epcot. So there you go. Jimmy, hello to you. Thanks for joining me here. So we have transitioned out of Africa and into Asia. We'll probably take a stop and check what is going on in Expedition Everest. Always fun to see that. Deborah, hello to you. Susan, taking a vote for Dino Land USA. Mary, happy Saturday to you. Said she was here last week. That was great. Hope you had a wonderful visit. Emily, thank you so much for asking. How can people get a pin each month? It is a wonderful question. Actually, one of the best questions I've heard all day. Thank you for asking and prompting. Yet another shameless plug for the Pen of the Month Club. You get the award, my appreciation. If you or anyone you know in the United States of America or outlying territories or military bases would like to get a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every single month, check out pinofthemonthclub.com. Great holiday gift. I highly recommend it. Linda, hello Hi, to you. All right, Expedition Everest is looking good in all its glory. And people seem to be having a good time. Robert asked if there is a new t-shirt. Robert, there is. So, uh, I did share the image earlier in the broadcast, but I will go ahead and share it again today. Courtesy of a, a follower and a watcher, uh, Mr. Wright came up with this fun idea. It's, it's kind of a, uh, a, a tribute to the Jungle Cruise and to Walt himself. So, brand new design. I don't know how it's going to show up here while I'm walking, but on the front of the shirt, it's got a uh, an illustration of someone who, you know, could look like a founder of a, a major entertainment company, and it says the front side of Walter, and on the back side, it has the back side of Walter. I think it's kind of clever. New design on sale now, available over at worldofwealthstore.com. There you can get a link to the t-shirt shop where this and all the other designs are on sale. Great for your Christmas time shopping. You can also get a link to uh, Pin of the Month Club as well as to uh, Magical Countdown Calendar. Ashley said, did I say all the walls are down at Epcot? Uh, yes, I did. And actually, most all of them are down. Still a few up around Communicore Hall uh, and the Communicore Plaza, the new entertainment, uh, Mickey meet and greet, flex spaces in world celebration but i would say the majority of the walls are now down and the new world celebration section of epcot is open for business uh, primarily it's gardens it's seating areas a place to just kind of hang out and maybe grab a bite to eat um, a lot of green space it's a very pleasant area and like so many spots at disney it really comes to life at night looks like we have pluto and goofy Donna says, favorite sounds, love, Everest. Karen says, thank you for all I do. Karen, thank you so much. I appreciate your being here. Thanks to you and everyone for spending a bit of your Saturday with me. Carrie, hello to you. Janet says, loves the shirt. Got her order in. Thank you so much for doing that. It's a big uh, encouragement to me. Debbie says, the weather looks spectacular. It is a picture-perfect beautiful day here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. 72 degrees on the way up to 80. Um, low humidity, at least by Florida standards. Not too hot. It's nice. It's a nice day. Karen says, beautiful scene. So many great views here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Diane, good morning to you. Thank you for being here. Robert says, cool shirt. Robert, thank you so much. Laura, snowy North Dakota. Happy to send a little bit of Florida sunshine your way. Ellen says, order the countdown calendar. It's awesome. Thank you so much, Ellen. I think that's Ellen's name, but by kind of quick. But yes, if you are planning a trip to the Walt Disney World Resort, magicalcountdown.com is where you can get your paper-based countdown calendar that allows you to count down the days up to 365 in advance to build the anticipation for your big trip. Uh, fun trivia fun games for the kiddos, uh, and a, just a, a fun project. So uh, Topher, who 
He's a friend of World of Walt. I came up with the design and did most of the work. Thank you for putting the link in there, magicalcountdown.com. Ashley's going on spring break, wants to see the transformation of Epcot. Uh, it, it certainly has uh, come together, so it is nice to see that project um, wrapping up. I think I saw somewhere that it was either the announcement or the start of the project happened in 2017, I think. Now it's 2023, so you know, a good six, seven years uh, for that transformation. Uh, Epcot certainly has been refreshed. So many things have opened. Uh, the Creation Shop, the Connections Cafe, Guardians of the Galaxy, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, now the World Celebration Gardens, and soon to wrap up the transformation with uh, the Communicore Hall and Plaza. Hey, it looks like Kevin is on the way. Good morning. Kevin, she's pretty tall. She might be going back to roost. <laughs> Kevin makes some good squawky noises. All right, it's not Christmas if you don't hear Mariah Carey singing. So I think uh, Christmas time is complete now. So Anne, I think it was Anne, the name went by very quickly, asked when are they going to start changing Dinoland USA? Uh, this is a good question. So Josh Tomorrow, who I believe is the president of uh, Disney Parks and Resorts, has hinted, has suggested, has toyed with ideas of maybe possibly potentially doing some changes to this area. Um, I think it seems like an all but foregone conclusion is going to happen is a question of what and when. So uh, some of the concept art has showed Encanto, some of it has shown Indiana Jones. So we'll see what happens, but I think this area is probably the next spot of Walt Disney World Resort due for a major investment. It will be interesting to see when it comes. Disney has committed publicly, including in front of investors, to spending $60 billion over the next 10 years in the parks and resorts. Uh, $60 billion is a lot of money, no matter how you slice it. Uh, but $60 billion over 10 years, over all of the parks and the cruise lines and the resorts, um, that's a lot of money to spread into a lot of places, including still needing to pay for some new cruise ships that are coming online. So it's good to see that Disney is investing. And I hope that this section of Animal Kingdom gets some love in the short term. Susan says, keep the dino ride. Uh, my guess is that if you are a, uh, a fan of dinosaur, it's probably time to come and experience it before it changes. Uh, it seems like a switch over to Indiana Jones is uh, very possible. Maybe not definite because the last movie was not necessarily a blockbuster hit, uh, but the franchise sure is still beloved. The ride system and the track layout is pretty much the same as the Indiana Jones ride at Disneyland. And those are big ticket infrastructure items that I'm sure Disney will want to take advantage of and reuse as much as possible. So we'll see what the future holds. 2024 should be a fascinating year for the Disney company. Hi, Caroline. Happy Saturday to you. All I want for Christmas is you. Thank you, Mariah Carey. 
Teresa, hello to you in rainy Kentucky. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Peggy says, Dinosaur is fun, but haven't ridden it enough in the past. A dinosaur is a fun ride. You know, it kind of gives you the um, the bumps that you would expect on a, a tour of prehistoric times. It's a very dark attraction. Um, it's kind of hard to see what's going on. I think that's by design. It's part of the surprise and part of the, the anticipation. Kim, hello to you. Happy Saturday. As we exit Dinoland USA, we are headed towards Discovery Island in the center of the park where we will check out the Tree of Life. Oh, Santa did just go by on a barge right underneath us. I almost missed it. Thank you. People got good ears hearing the ho ho ho's. Pippi, hello to you. seen that before. He says, dad jokes are the way I roll. And it was E-Y-E-R-O-L-L. -L. I roll like rolling your eyes. That was funny. I like that. Speaking of shirts, I've got a new shirt design as well to share with you. Thanks to uh, Mr. Wright, who is a follower of the channel and came up with a very clever idea. Um, this shirt is now available at worldaboutstore.com. And this shirt and all the other shirts are on sale. Just in time for your Christmas time shopping. This shirt is something of a tribute to the uh, Jungle Cruise as well as to the founder of the Walt Disney Company. It's the first double sided uh, design I've done. On the left hand side or on the front side of the shirt, it says the front side of Walter. And it has an image of someone who kind of looks like, you know, could be a founder of a major entertainment company. And on the back side of the shirt, it's got the back side of Walter. Just like in the Jungle Cruise, they have the back side of water. I think it's kind of a fun design, a little bit of a clever tribute in a number of different ways. Um, Jim says the uh, shirt looks amazing. Jim, thank you so much for your contribution and your comments. Appreciate that. Uh, on sale now. Where can you get it, you might ask? Head over to worldofwaltstore.com where you can get a link to the shirt 
um, as well as over to the Pin of the Month Club and to uh, the Magical Countdown Calendar. So again, brand new design, just debuting today, on sale. The front side of Walter on the front of the shirt, and the back side of Walter on the back of the shirt. Mary says, uh, Tree of Life really comes to life after dark. That it does. All right, everyone, I think that's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for joining me on this live broadcast from Disney's Animal Kingdom at the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. A beautiful day here, lower 70s on the way up to 80. We had a chance to start off the day with the Festival of the Lion King um, in a broadcast where the audio didn't work, but we restarted. It happens. We're okay. Had a little chance to walk through the rest of Africa and Asia on the way over to Dinoland, USA, and checked out some live entertainment along the way. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you have a wonderful Saturday. As always, I appreciate your comments, your likes, your shares. A big encouragement to me and a great way to get the word out. Enjoy your weekend, and until next time, God bless.